Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today on Rift Beards and Gear, we are going to check out the all new editing software that goes along with the Pod Express from Line 6. So back about six months ago, I did a video on the brand new, at the time, Pod Express from Line 6. Now this was built on basically Helix running gear. It's not Helix fully, but it's the Helix running gear. The DNA from the Helix hardware is in the Pod Express, and this was meant to be a super compact but good sounding sonic tool for us guitar players, right? And it was awesome. The one thing that I think a lot of us asked about was a software editor, a desktop editor that Line 6 is so good at making to incorporate into the Pod Express to further kind of unlock and customize the tones that you could get to on the hardware. However, there was a lot of navigation and there was a lot of, you know, tap this, turn right, and tap your head and pat your belly kind of things. No more. Line 6 have come out with the Pod Express Edit, and we're gonna dive into that today. And before we go any further, the nice folks over at Line 6 asked me to show you guys the Pod Express Edit software. Ergo, this is a sponsored video. However, all thoughts and opinions are still mine. So the Pod Express is 179 bucks, and you basically get seven tonal slots to do with whatever you want with sonically, right? And you also have tap tempo, you have stereo capabilities on the output with your delays and your reverbs and things like that. You have a built-in tuner, you can turn off the cab and pipe it out to an actual cab and power amp if you want. You can do a lot with the Pod Express, but what you couldn't do till now is hook it up to a desktop editor and really dive in to your tones you can do that now. The Pod Express Edit is here, and that's what we're gonna check out in this video right now. All right, so I have the Pod Express here on the desk with me. I have the Pod Express Edit up on my monitor. You will immediately notice a couple of things. Uh, this is a very clean looking interface. Um, I have spent maybe just 10 minutes making sure this is set up and working so I can film this for you guys, but really we are experiencing this together for the first time. Um, we have our six modules, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have gate, distortion, modulation, our cab, delay, reverb, and then in the middle we have our seventh, which is the, the amplifier, module, block, whatever you wanna call it. To the left here we have our presets. Now keep in mind the seven presets that are here on the slots coincide with the seven different sounds that we can save on the pedal from, uh, on the hardware itself, right? So up here we have our clean presets, we have our general settings, manual, BPM, we can tap on the desktop as well. The only thing we really can't do that I'm not seeing is engage a tuner, which you can still do on the hardware because the tuner is based on the uh, seven LEDs around the, uh, the amp uh, control on the pedal itself. However, um, this is pretty self-explanatory if I'm being totally honest. All right, so I am on the clean tone. Um, this is the same tones that I made for the video six months ago. Let's see if they're any good. Great, so if we wanna tweak this, we can just go into the amp and we have basically all of the amps right here. Whoop, I clicked off of it. 
All right, so we have clean, special, chime, dynamic, crunch, heavy, and lead, which is the different kinds of flavors that we have access to from the pedal itself, all right? So, chime, let's go chime. It's very chimey. <laughs> let's turn the drive down. with the cabinet section a little bit. I like this cab a lot. Uh, spring reverb, let's go to a nice plate, shall we? I'm gonna assume these are pages down here. This one and two. All right. Cool. Now, this would be stereo if I was using both outputs on the Pod Express itself. However, technical glitch on my uh, Neve 1073 preamp, I only have uh, two inputs. So, one for me to talk and the other for the Pod Express. But this would, you know, any of the time based uh, effects can be stereo and would normally be, you know, stereo. For this demonstration, everything is mono though. I like the mix where it's at. Let's add a delay. Let's add a lot, nice digital delay, shall we? mix down just a little bit. Great. We have our tone. What do we do? I believe we just can hit save at several different points. We can either come over here to the left and hit save or save this. There we go. That's that's really it. Let's go into some other tones. Let's go into special. I like that one a lot. Although I'm going to turn off the delay. A little bit of hall reverb going on. Because we're in mono, I'm actually going to put this to spring. And we're gonna dip the mix down a little bit. Pretty good, I like this tone a lot. Go to modulation. What awaits us there? Chorus? Pretty good. And again, if we want to save this tone, which I do, I'm just gonna hit save. Pretty cool layout. I'm I was honestly expecting something like maybe the helix, but I you know that that wouldn't really make sense with this kind of workflow. This is very, very cool. So let's go to heavy. So now we're on the crunch amp. 
Let's let's come over here for the overdrive. Let's do a, a TS eight oh eight because <laughs> level all the way up, gain all the way down. Let's try this. I like the saturation. Hmm. Page two, what do we got? Bias Ripple and Bias X. We're not gonna worry about those right now. Let's go back to the saturation. Let's turn the drive down though and turn on the saturation. the smoothness of the green back cap. Pretty good. Again, we'll just save it. We're saving. Let's go to lead. Let's check out what I have for there. For, for the lead. Let's turn down the mix on the hall. I bet this is honestly pretty sick with an overdrive. Let's try that. Level all the way up, gain all the way down. Let's go totally dry. No reverb. No nothing. We don't need no reverb. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and save that. And there you go. That's the Pod Express Edit. Really adds another level of customization to the already customizable Pod Express. Although I know a lot of you, I think I even mentioned this in my original video, I did wish out loud that there was an editor because the tones are so good with the Pod Express. So, yeah, there you go. Pod Express Edit. So, what do I think? 
Honestly, the desktop editor makes the Pod Express just that much more usable and customizable. And what a brilliant product. I mean, this is a worthy successor to the original Pod. And the fact that it has the Pod name on it is just, I don't know. I think that's just a, a solid move on Line 6's part. They didn't call it the Helix Express, for example, right? This is the Pod Express and it is this is an incredible pedal, real talk. This is just an incredible pedal. You can do so much with it. The desktop editor, I think really does take it to the next level for me personally, being able to see, okay, so I'm on this amplifier and I am on this effect and I can control these parameters that I could get to on the pedal, but that takes time and I don't have time. Time is valuable to all of us, right? So having the desktop editor to fine tune all of the tones that you probably already made with the pedal in the first place, yeah, it's just value added. The editor is free, the download is free. All you gotta do when you hook it up to your computer is just uh, kick it a little firmware update, which is also free. You just gotta sign in to your Line 6 account and you're off to the races. Bravo, Line 6, well done. I will link down below in the description if you would like to check out the Pod Express Edit software for yourself. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.